Today, we are talking about the three-term contingency. Now, this, these are the basic building blocks of all of ABA. It's probably the first thing you learn when you get into the field. It's kind of the ABCs of ABA. Um, so here we go. What are the ABCs of ABA? Whew, that's an acronym for you. Uh, a is antecedent. I think we all know that. And then behavior and consequence. We hear it all the time, ABC, 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 but then we also hear terms like SD, response, reinforcement. What does that really mean? So we plotted the two out together. So you can see the A or the antecedent is kind of sort of like the SD. And what is SD? SD is discriminative stimulus. Say that five times fast. Um, and I don't know why it's not DS, um, maybe because it doesn't want to compete with a Nintendo DS. I'm not quite sure. But uh, anyways, you've got your SD, which is usually your instruction. And then you have your response or your behavior, and then either your reinforcement or your punishment. In ABA, when you're teaching skill acquisition programs, you have your reinforcement. So what does that look like from an example standpoint? So for example, you know, the phone rings. The phone rings is what we call an antecedent to the behavior, but it's also the discriminative stimulus. It is the thing that tells you, hey, I need to answer that phone. So it's what conditions our behavior. Um, so we have the phone ringing and the response would be you either ignore it or you pick it up. Let's in this situation say, you know, I pick it up, um, I don't mute it. So, you know, the phone rings and then the response is I pick it up and then it's either reinforcement or punishment, meaning, hey, you know what, my best friend is on the phone, which is awesome. And that just, you know, increases the future likelihood that I'm going to pick up the phone the next time around. Um, similarly, if you're always getting calls during dinner time from a 1-800 number, can you tell my beef, Shira? <laughs> uh, that you're like, oh, really again? Um, and that's punishment. And, you know, the next time the phone rings, maybe you actually will put your phone on mute or you'll you turn off the call and not answer that. So there's a whole bunch of factors playing into that, but that's the three-term contingency. Yes, yeah, so when we talk about behavior, it doesn't just mean challenging behavior or problem behavior. We look at everything that happens from a behavioral perspective as having links to the environment. So if you're looking at something that's in the middle, whether that's you know challenging behavior or whether it's just a response, or it could even be a skill. It could be something like reading or talking. Um, it could be you know hitting or going to the bathroom, any one of those things could be that middle section, which is the behaviors that we want to change. Um, and then we look at, well, what happened before the behavior and what happened after. And it's those environmental pieces that we look to, you know, manipulate, or we look to change, or we look to increase or decrease, um, all related to that middle section of the behavior. And the thing that's before is either what we call the antecedent or the SD. Um, and I think that happens after is some sort of consequence. Um, and that could be a, a consequence that reinforces the behavior or a consequence that punishes the behavior. So stay tuned next time for when we talk about the four-term contingency.